Hey guys, welcome back. Todd Huey here with Lone Star Boars. This is the start of a brand new project and series. I just got a new truck behind me. It is a third generation Toyota Tundra limited TRD package. So it already came with the uh, TRD leveling kit. Uh, I filmed some stuff. I, I've already screwed up on the project. I went up to Fort Worth Parts in Fort Worth. Uh, had some new tires put on it, some mud terrain tires on it. Uh, that's the only mod that's done, but I wanted to document everything, filmed it all, got back, and um, the card was corrupted, so I lost all the footage. So you see it sitting here behind me now. I've already done one mod to it. We put some uh, Toyo Mud Terrain tires on here. With the TRD 2-inch lift, we got, um, they're almost 34s. They're 33.7-inch Mud Terrains on here. I took it out this weekend. It did awesome. I'll show some of that footage here in the video. But uh, this project is going to be something, the goal of this, this is going to be my daily driver. Something that you can use as a daily driver, but will get you back into the woods, into your hunting camp, um, whatever, reliably. A lot of times when I'm out on these farms and ranches, I have no cell signal. I have nobody to call. I'm miles and miles away from, from other people. I need something that's reliable. And that's why I've always uh, done the Toyota Land Cruisers. I've done... Uh, three Toyota Land Cruiser builds. Now they were more uh, expedition builds where you would go out for say a week to Colorado or something like that. That was my goal with those and I, I didn't really document them well. This is going to be documented, well not from the very first because I've already screwed that up and messed up on the tires, but everything from the tires on is going to be documented. Now what I'm fixing to show you right here is obviously this is a night hunting channel. We hunt hogs and coyotes mostly at night with night vision and thermal. I own a night vision and thermal store so I'm real focused on the night vision and thermal aspect. We're going to hook up, uh, I know for sure we're going to do the new Rover, the uh, Rove IR thermal camera. It's a 360 degree pan tilt uh, thermal camera that is vehicle mountable. Um, there's another one too that has the thermal and has a digital day camera that is supposed to work at night. We'll see how it does. So we'll, we'll try to test those. That's just uh, one thing. Uh, we're gonna have to get a recovery equipment, uh, some kind of winch, some kind of uh, a good bumper for if we run into deer, hogs, trees, whatever out there, uh, something to protect the front end. But uh, what I'm gonna show you in this video tonight is how to set up your interior for hunting with night vision and thermal. Well, really not thermal, night vision, because any light in, in the, inside the, the dash or anything like that when you're driving around with night vision on a dark night it's going to blind you on a full moon not so much but even the tiniest little window switch or, or light like that will will cause you problems on a super dark night so we're going to move over here to the truck well hell let me let y'all take a look at it here let me take this camera and we'll take a look at this bad boy here she is an almost stock form and we're still keeping the Land Cruiser, she's not going away. But one of the things, the Land Cruiser, man, it's great when I'm by myself. But when I get people in here, either uh, the, the ranchers, the farmers, uh, other people, you know, other YouTube channels, whatever, other people hunting with me, they're just cramped up in the Land Cruiser. This thing, the back seat on it, I don't know how well this, because it's dark out here, but this shit, I got my kids' seats back here. But man, look at that. It is massive, massive room back here. Massive room in the front, so it's 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 just awesome. I've I've been looking at these for a while, and and, and this build, it, 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 yeah, I got a Toyota Tundra. I, I picked the Tundra because I think Toyotas are very reliable, and the the Crew Max had the next to biggest. Um, interior space in it to make it comfortable for people but this the stuff we're going to use on here and the things you can do are going to work for anything f-150 any ford chevys dodges toyotas anything now there will be some some toyota specific things but those will be few and far between most of the stuff that i'm going to add to this are going to be you know you can they make it for all the major brands so anyways uh, let's get into the cab here and i'm going to show you how all this works with the with the night vision and how you need to set this thing up. All right, I'm gonna switch cameras for a minute. This camera doesn't do as good in the dark in this mode. I can turn it to the night vision mode here, but we're gonna leave it just like this for just a minute. Now, 
I don't have the key in it. Here's the dash, everything, uh, no lights, nothing. When we turn it on, look at that, like a Christmas tree. All these lights everywhere. And you got your little dimmer switch here, but even turned all the way off. Look, it's still like that. So now, let's turn off. We got our headlights on, obviously, out here. Let's turn off the headlights. So even with the headlights turned off and everything dimmed down, you still have this. You have this light down here. Now, one of the things you can do in all of these is there's a setting to turn your screen off now, which is awesome. But you still have this. You have your airbag off. You have these lights up here and, and these lights out here. It doesn't seem like much, but with night vision, we're going to switch to night vision in just a minute and, and show you what, what all happened. But another thing, let's look at this. So I have the lights turned off, completely turned off. And thanks to the nanny state that we have now, we have these daytime running lights on. Now we have nothing in the back, but when we hit the brake lights, we have that huge glow there. These lights do two things. They give away our position to the animals. I don't care what anybody says, hogs can see lights, they, and they can for sure see these bright lights coming like that. And two, it messes with the night vision. It makes it, even on a, on a dark night, it's like having headlights on and you can only see as far as these lights go. When you turn it off, you can see a lot farther. So we don't want to give away our position, but we also don't want to blind ourselves. So one of the mods we're gonna do is eventually some, some toggle switches that will make it where we can uh, kill these brake lights and kill the parking lights here. But until that point, this is what you need to do. We're gonna just turn off the engine there. Pop the hood. Oh, the lights went off. So I guess we're gonna have to leave the engine running. Hopefully that doesn't killer sound so. when you get inside here turn on my light we have the fuse box here On all your fuse boxes now, it may be different somewhere else, but it's gonna tell you where the fuse is for the stop lamps, and it's gonna tell you where the fuse lamp is. On this one, it's the turn and the hazards. They're both 15 amp fuses. Which one is the turn hazards? You got a five, 10, 25, 50. 5, 10, 25, 15. So this 15 right here, watch this. Boom, we're blacked out now. So no matter what we do now, it's not gonna show. Now, we can do the same thing with the stop lamps. What happens when you do that with the stop lamps? If you don't know, once you start the car, if you ever turn on some light in here, if you ever put it in park like it is now and you don't have the start, stop lamps engaged, it doesn't sense that you're hitting the brake. So it doesn't know that you're pressing the brake when you disable the parking brakes and it won't come out of park. It won't let you get it out of park. You have a little, and, and again, different cars are different, but on this one, there's a little tab and you can remove that right there and you press a key anything straight down and depress that little button in there and it'll let you take it out of park even with no st uh, no brake lights and no brake lamp uh, applied so that's that's a little hack right there pull the fuses the parking brake or the parking lights the running lights it won't affect anything you can even drive down the road without those one of the problems of not having the toggle switches is when you pull the fuse like what I just did it's great when you're on private roads or a private ranch. If you get into uh, public roadways and you're driving, because I'll cover multiple 
uh, properties in one night sometimes. And I take county roads, highways, interstates, all kind of stuff. You're gonna have to have brake lights. So every time, you have to get back in there, put those fuses back in. So um, in an upcoming video, we're gonna show how to wire it up where you can just flip a switch and kill the brake lights and kill the running lights. But for you guys that don't wanna do all that, you can pull the fuses. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and what's up next? I am, I have my PVS 14 here. I have the LPMR recorder on it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the night vision and show you how blinding it is. And we'll actually be filming through the night vision for this next little bit here. Okay, now you're seeing exactly what I see with the night vision. I got my brake lights on them back there. And the problem is it's not dark. It's, we're in town, it's just cloud cover, there's a lot of ambient light. I have a big flood light over here behind us that kind of lights. But see this right here, how bright it is? Right now with all this light, it's not blinding you on the outside. But any of these lights here, if we were out in the country, would be causing a glare that would not let you see. These right here too. Um, there's so much light out here, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's really uh, polluting and I should try to probably move, but for this instant we're not. So how do we get rid of all these lights here in here that, that are, are going to cause us problems when we're driving around? I'm going to turn this off and show you. Let's turn some lights back on. Alright, first step. Real simple. Cardboard. Piece of cardboard. You cut it out to the size of your dash. You put it right up there. Totally blocks everything. You'll have a little glow on the darkest of nights around here, but totally blocks everything. Now the rest of this stuff, these little lights like this, um, this here, this here, what I found is good old fashioned electrical tape. Electrical tape doesn't leave any residue. I had all this taped up this weekend, left it taped up all weekend. I had this taped up and um, let's see, we'll just go ahead and see if we can set this right here and we'll tape this real quick just to show you. You just get your electrical tape, stick it on there. Again, I've done this for a while. I've left it on there. If you leave it on there for a month at a time, you may get some residue in the summertime when it gets so hot. But for the most part, there is no real residue left on your truck from electrical tape. So anything that's glowing, all it takes is a little piece there to cover it up and you're taken care of. Now up here on the same thing up here I'm gonna cover this up. Alright everything's covered up. Now another thing you can do is on this if I put it in reverse that reverse light is our camera is gonna come on. I'm sure there's a way to turn it off I haven't figured it out yet so you could technically cover that up but I'm usually prepared and I'll hold something over it but you could cover up your screen there too if you wanted to a good thing about the duct or the electrical tape you don't want to use duct tape duct tape will leave more is if you need to that's my air conditioner I can see what vent I want peel it off and then just put it straight back all right let's switch back to night vision and see what our handiwork has done And again, it's super bright out right now. This is the this is the equivalent of um, a super full moon with these lights. I mean, it is super bright. But now, nothing. Now I got a text, so there's that. And that pops up on the screen. But we're not getting a text or anything. I mean, everything's totally darked out. I got these over here on the door that I could uh, blend out. Uh, another thing that you could do if you don't if, if you have a, a just a beater that's a ranch truck and you don't care about these lights black 
fingernail polish. We'll tell you, that's a old trick that I learned from an old game warden friend of mine. And um, he used black fingernail polish. One coat, you'll still be able to see it a little bit. Two or three coats, and they're totally gone. But that's more of a permanent fix there. All right. Well, that's pretty much it um, for your first step. When, when you get the brake lights turned off, you get all these dash lights, now you're totally blacked out. You can drive around, um, spot the hogs, spot the coyotes. You're not blinding yourself. You're not giving your position away. Very fast, very cheap way to uh, night hunt. So that's our first mods. Now, as we get into this thing, like I said, there are some things that, that are more permanent or kind of fancier than cardboard. But um, really, I mean, for the price and the ability that... You know, as soon, as soon as I'm done from, from the hunt and I'm coming back and I got the wife and kids and we're going to go out, man, I just pull that electrical tape. Look, there's a little bit of stickiness there, but it, it just goes away and, it, and it's perfect again. So, uh, really effective. Guys, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Many, many more things to go. Uh, like I said, some of it for, for you guys have been doing this for a while, probably some things will be... Um, mundane because you know but a lot of guys you know they're just getting into this they they don't know the tips tips and tricks yet so um it'll be everything from like this one we just did to major installs of winches bumpers uh we'll probably put a high lift rack in the back for some coyote hunting for some trips um all kind of stuff in the future i, I don't even know what everything but my goal is to document it all the way and try to show you what i'm using and how it works and Hell, I'd like, if you got any ideas or things that you've learned, tricks and trips, uh, put them in the comments and I'll, I'll try to share them. Thank you for watching.